So I said I'd make a video on how to uh, wire a switch to turn your fan on and off. Um, I think it's pretty common for these fans to stop working because of the thermostat. And motorcycle parts are very expensive. I think it's probably $200 to replace thermostat parts to get the fan working again. And you can buy a switch for uh, two or three dollars. So this is a two pole switch, two poles to solder the wires onto. <coughs> Here's the, the plug that goes into the thermostat. I'm not sure what the exact name of the part is. And here's the electrical plug that plugs into this part. So you solder a wire, or you can just crimp it and tape it on. And you run this wire to one pole and solder it on. Then you solder a second wire onto the second pole. And that wire goes to the ground on the battery, or it can be grounded onto the frame. <clears throat> in this setup, uh, it doesn't drain the battery when the bike's off. It only works with the key turned on. So here it goes. The key's turned on. And that's it took me uh, probably <laughs> ten times to figure this out with sparks flying all over the place thinking I burnt out my fan or hurt my wiring so this is how you put a switch on a, on a fan on a motorcycle and then I'm gonna just uh, I'll tape up the terminals <coughs> just to uh, do a good job so the terminals don't ground out and I'm putting this right here on the frame uh, I'll use zip ties or tape uh, a good sticky tape a black duct tape a nice colored tape to make your bike look nice so uh, this bike is almost done it will probably be done today believe it or not I'm painting the access panels. Uh, I got the lowers to look pretty nice. All the stickers I got. This bike is definitely a fingerprint bike. It's very hard to make it look nice. This is the side that was really rashed up. And I, it only took me like an hour to get a good sticker combination. I was going to do like a graffiti stickers all over the place. <clears throat> I also lucked out these stickers were uh, thinner than they appeared when I bought them. So they're kind of thin stickers and they're flexible. Uh, another thing, when you're stretching, when you're putting stickers on, on these fairings they have all these curves they don't lay flat and have bubbles and things you can take a scissors or a razor blade and cut these bubbles out like this one didn't lay flat I didn't cut it on this side but on the other side I did this one's not laying completely flat but I don't want to cut it because I don't think it'll look right I put duct tape on the edges and stuff and I would just take the duct tape off slow because I tore a little bit of the stickers taking the duct tape off Ooh. so maybe one or two more videos on this where well, this bike is turning out nice so okay